everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you saw in one of my previous videos, um, I mentioned that the Rose Doll Show was cancelled for this year, 2020, and so I had eight babies already made for the show, and since Rose was cancelled, I decided to sell them on my Instagram at Little Mouse Nursery, and pretty much all of them have sold. Uh, there's only two left, and they are being discussed right now, so um, hopefully they will sell soon, but pretty much all the dolls have sold, which I'm really excited about, and I'm glad that you guys will still get to enjoy my babies, but I just won't get to meet everyone. But I wanted to do little box packing videos of them um, as they sell, and so today we're doing Alma. She was actually the first one that sold. This is Realborn Alma from Bountiful Baby. And this baby is so cute. I really love how this baby turned out. And so she sold as a girl. So far all the babies have sold as girls. And I'm like, oh, I saw that one as a boy. But that doesn't matter because it's up to the buyer to decide if they'd like a girl or a boy. So we have little Miss Alma here. And um, obviously with the virus going around, um, a lot of stores are closed. And the Carter's store has closed, which is where I buy my items to send home with my reborns so she actually sold like quite a like a couple days ago but um normally i'd be able to just run down to carter's and pick up some clothes and send them out like the next day but because the stores are closed i had to order online so it just takes a little bit longer so i've been telling all of my customers like i'm sorry it's gonna take a little longer i have to order clothes and everything and everyone's been so understanding about it because obviously there's nothing else we can do about it so um I made a big order for, I think, the first three dolls that sold the first day. I think um, I made an order for them, and then I just placed another order last night for the rest of the dolls that had sold. Um, so it takes like around three to four days for them to get here. The first order I ordered over the weekend, so it would have been quicker, but um, having like Sunday in the mix, it threw things off. So. We have Alma, and we are going to get her ready to go home. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. First of all, like I said, she's Realborn Alma from Bountiful Baby, and she is a newborn size baby. She's super floppy and cuddly. I really love her little face. I think she turned out super sweet, and I'll bring you guys in a little closer to show some details. So we have her little feet, her little nails. Look at her skin, so pretty. Her little toes. <laughs> And her little hands. So sweet. And you know, this little hand, this one's a little fist as well. Oops, it doesn't want to focus. And then I love her little face. I like adding little like imperfections on my dolls, like all these little pimples. Sometimes I add scratches. I like adding things like that because I think it looks more realistic. Not every baby is perfect and they usually don't have perfect skin. So I like to add that to my dolls. And then her little mouth, she can take a pacifier. It's interesting, it has to be cut, but she can. She has little rooted lashes. And then some painted hair. I tried to do it like really thin and sparse looking. So she looks like a fresh newborn, well not a fresh newborn baby, she just looks like a little newborn baby. She's so cute, you guys. I'm so excited that she found a nice home, but I'm sad that she's leaving me because she's really sweet. <laughs> so like I said, all the outfits I had to buy online, so. They're all packaged up in little bags. So we're gonna open those up so I can show you guys. Everything is brand new. I always buy brand new things for my dolls that I send home. So the outfit that we're actually gonna send her home in is this one. It has, and she wears newborn. This is a little white sweatshirt with some flower details on the shoulders. It has a zipper and like real little pockets. And then this really pretty onesie. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look so pretty on her. <gasps> These colors look amazing on her. These are really pretty little flowers on the onesie. And then they're like these little fake baby jeans that are stretchy, they're like little jeggings. So that's the outfit I wanna send her in. I like to send the babies in like outfits that will cover like all their arms and legs. So I don't usually send them in short sleeves outfits. So every time I uh, send babies home, I make sure to buy them an outfit that has, that like covers them up to send them with. So that's the one she's gonna go home in. And then the other outfits I picked are, Carter's has this new chicken line and I absolutely love it. I don't really know why, I just think it's so cute. So this is a little um, shirt 
with the chicken on the side. There's also this really pretty onesie, and this matches the chicken's wing. And then there are these cute little um, uh, light blue little shorts. So this is cute for the warmer weather. Since it is spring now, I'm starting to pick more floral and spring and fun outfits for the babies, so I'm really excited. I don't know, something about the chickens I think are really cute. So. In these box packing videos, you guys are gonna see I picked a lot of chicken stuff because I really like the chicken line myself. I definitely have to get some for my babies. I think it's really cute. And also these colors, like these are gonna look so pretty on her. So that's one outfit that I picked to go home with her. And then I picked this really cute romper. I thought these colors would look really nice on her as well and they totally do. She is so cute. She looks so pretty in flowers. I picked like all flowers for her. So this has just like some purple, yellow, blue, pink, green colors and then on the back there's little ruffles on the butt I don't know I think that's really sweet and then the last I always send obviously pajamas can't find the opening Carter's why the last set I bought is um, a pack of two pajamas because one of them is for her and one of them is for another baby that's going home so you'll see, the, see that in a different video but um, the one that I picked for her is this one, because again, I just love the flowers on her. This has all kinds of really pretty flowers, rainbows, and like little bugs, like butterflies and ladybugs, not like creepy little bugs. <laughs> but look at how pretty that is. I don't know, everything I picked, I just think would look so pretty on her. I always have the doll next to me when I'm picking out the outfits, because um, I, I just want to pick things I think would look pretty on them. And it's hard because you can't really see them in person when they're online, so. I'm glad everything came out so beautiful and I love how everything looks on her. So let's get her all packed up. Let's first change her outfit into the one that I picked for her to wear. You guys, look at how sweet she is. Oh, I love this. This looks really cute on her. So, we have her all dressed, now I'm gonna move the bouncer aside so we can package up her little outfits. Okay, and now that we packed up all of her little clothes, we're gonna pack up the baby. I have this blankie here. This one is, uh, it's like dark gray and white striped. So we're gonna put her in this. We have her right here, and I also have this cute little um, bunny stuffy toy. I usually send them home with little lovies, so that's really cute. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I have her um, little ooh, information here. This is her little card. It says Alma, and then it has her COA, and then my little like birth certificate. So um, she was born on February 24th, uh, 2020. At 7:52 p.m., she's five pounds ten ounces and 19 inches. And then this also says the same thing. <laughs> So we have those, and I'm also going to put in here, I always write a little um, note to the new mommy, so I'll put that in there as well, so I'm not gonna close this up yet. But we're gonna get her a diaper. She has one on, obviously, but we're gonna put this one on her head. Keep her all protected. <laughs> it's not the best swaddle job, but that's usually just how I do it, and it, it stays pretty well. So we have her all bundled up. We have the little outfits right here. I just wrote a little thank you note and I'm putting that inside. And normally I don't write the baby's name on the back, but because these were supposed to be going to Rose, I wrote the kids' names on the backs of the paperwork so I would know which goes to which doll. So we have that. I'm gonna seal this up. And she's ready to be shipped off. So I'm gonna ship her out today. I have another one that I need to pack up. So I'm also gonna be doing a box packing video of that baby, but I'll probably post it um, tomorrow so I don't do two in a day. Just so we can spread it out and I have more content over more days to keep you guys entertained. But thank you for watching this video. Um, if you wanna see more babies, and if you wanna see Alma's pictures and other babies that I create, you can always check out my Instagram at Little Mouse Nursery and for my personal collection babies, I post on at Kelly Mabel YT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe and we'll see you guys later.